PHP's invoke magic method. Powerful, powerful magic method and so commonly misunderstood. First, let's create a class called handle. Handle is going to have a single function. This is going to be the magic invoke function. We're going to denote that as magic by this double underscore. And then, of course, call it invoke. For the time being, we're going to leave it empty. And we're going to set up an example outside the scope of using invoke. We're going to create an array of actions. Just as an example, we're only going to use strings to keep this simple. Now, the first action is going to be get response. The next, validate response. And the final action will be store response to database. Then, we're going to create a for each loop. For each action, we want to handle the given action. And we're simply going to handle the action by echoing a simple string with the given action's name, notifying us that we have properly handled that action. Now, in a real application, this handler could be lines and lines long. It could be 20, 50, 1,000 lines long. Please never make anything inside a for each loop anywhere close to 1,000. Don't make anything in a single file 1,000 lines long, honestly. But the point is, we might need to reuse this code. So for each loop, inside the block of a for each loop isn't necessarily the best place to have the handler functionality. So what can we do? Well, one option would be to create a function. And we'll just say handle action. And it will accept an action. And then we'll echo handle the action, just like we did earlier in the for each loop. Now, we'll simply replace the current functionality in the for each loop and then utilize our function. So that functionality is now reusable, but having a global function everywhere probably isn't the best thing. So what else can we do? Enter the info magic method. We're going to break this down into a few steps. Now, the first step is we're going to create an instance of our handle class, and we're going to call it handle. And then we're going to treat it exactly how we created our original function. We're going to pass in the action. So this is what the magic invoke method does. It allows us to treat an object, an instance of a class, as a callback function, as a function. So it's going to accept action, and then we're going to echo handle action. Then we're literally going to replace the handle action function with our object that is treated as a callback function via invoke. Before we test this out, let's add a backslash in. This will make sure we go to the next line for every terminal output via echo. Let's prove it works. And it does. When we run the script in our terminal, we properly get all of our actions echoed out via treating our instance as a callback function thanks to the magic invoke. Now, this is the most common way to use the invoke magic method. But there are several other ways we can invoke an object to handle functionality. First, let's replace our for each loop with this really nifty array walk PHP function. The first argument is going to be the array. This is going to be actions. The second argument is going to be a callback function that accepts each element within the array. Now, the callback function is going to act just like a for each body. The only exception being is we need to actually use the handle object so we can access it within our function. Then we'll remove our for each loop and retest. And it properly works. So why? Why do we do that? Well, so we can properly show how powerful the invoke method can be. So let's do this. Instead of having to do an anonymous callback function in line, Let's remove it and replace it with the handle instance. And so this is what it's going to look like behind the scenes. It's going to act like it's accepting the handle and the action as the parameter. But we don't actually have to pass in the action. It's an anonymous callback function. So it knows it's a function. So it'll automatically pass in the action, just like if we were to call it above and pass in a simple string. More than that, we can actually remove the instantiation and setting the variable of handle, and we can call new handle inline. And this will still properly work, just like using anonymous callback function. It knows to call the invoke and to accept 
whatever that callback function is supposed to accept, which is an individual element within the actions array. The last thing I want to show is how to completely remove the new keyword. I, I don't know why, but yeah, well, I do know why. When you use the new keyword, you're usually causing a code smell. It's not good practice, but that's for another video. So what I like doing is I'll create this public static function that returns an instance of handle. When we have an action, handle it. Then we'll return a new static. And what this function does is it says, hey, even though we're in a static function, we want to get an instance of wherever the static function is being called from. So we're still getting an instance of handle, so we still have that function. So now we can just say, okay, for each action, handle it. And that will properly trigger the invoke magic method. Success. Thanks for going on this journey with me, guys. That is the PHP magic invoke function in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. Simple.